All right, so here's what the power supply looks like. It's got some uh, vents in the sheet metal here. You can see the fan is right there. Your three prong typical connection is right there. It's got some good little, uh, you know, rubberized feet. So let me go ahead and plug this in. But it's a pretty basic power supply. You've got your coarse adjustment on your volts here, and you've got your fine adjustments here. They work as expected. Just know with the uh, volts, as you move it, you're gonna give it a couple seconds to catch up with you as the capacitor dissipates its charge. And that can be a little bit on the slower side. I haven't used a lot of power supplies to compare it to, but just something to be aware of. I do like that it comes with these connections, which are great because you can just push them in here and here. Now some of the features that this thing lacks that other power supplies may have is it just has the on and off and you don't have a switch to say give the power versus don't give the power. Where other ones you might have that switch and then you can dial in your volts and amps. This is always giving power. And the way that you actually would adjust the top amount of amps that it can put out is you're gonna bring the volts down to five volts. And if you're trying to get it exactly on five volts, it can, it can take a little bit of time just having to get it dialed in. Once you're at five volts, you're actually gonna connect these. You'll notice they'll switch over to constant current. And now you can set your current with these bottom knobs here. So it's rated for 10 amps, goes all the way to 10 amps, which is nice to see. So you can set your uh, top amps here once this is connected. And then as soon as you disconnect it, now you're back to the setting of setting your volts. Then you'd wanna set your volts and then you can connect it to your load. And the way your load is taking the power will determine if it's gonna be set to constant voltage or constant current. But some other power supplies might just have an easier way of setting your max amps and your max voltage. And they might also have a toggle switch where you can say, stop giving power and give power while it's still on versus just this one is just a simple on and off switch. But it still does everything that some of the other power supplies do. And I do like that it has your wattage. You can see it takes quite a bit of time for it to turn off. That's because it has a large capacitor in there and it takes a long time for it to actually cycle through. I do like though that, yeah, it shows the actual wattage. Even though on another power supply, all you have to do is multiply those two numbers together to figure out what the watts is. But it's nice that it does that for you and you have a constant readout.